Hey YouTube, Smoking Uncle Frank here. Another video. Uh, thought I'd do a little update on some um, things that I've been doing. Um, not a whole lot to talk about, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of winging it today, as I usually do. But uh, anyway, uh, I got that uh, got that old Edgeworth all uh, rehydrated. So I got uh, well. Show you what I got here. I got. Uh, out of it, I was able to get uh, two, three jars for storage, and a little one for me to smoke out of. So, pretty good. Um, talking with my pipe in my mouth is not a good thing. Plus, I don't have my teeth in today. So, uh, anyway, I'm 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 off today, so I'm allowed. I can do that. It's my channel. Thought I today I thought I'd treat myself, so I'm smoking myself a little Penzance in my uh, what the hell is this? Uh, I forget what it's called. Yeah, this one here. The Brani, I believe it's the Zabrani, uh, the Brani pipe. So, I just thought I'd, you know what, I haven't smoked this in a while. I don't smoke a lot of it because it's a little hard to get, so I try to savor it. But I was in the mood today, so I'd have a bowl of Penzance for a change. When I was looking at the Edgeworth online, I, um, funny thing was, on the same day that I found the can that I bought, there was another can that was for sale too. Two full cans. Um, yeah, I was wondering though. I, I, you know, since it was dried out, it was obviously getting getting oxygen. It wasn't sealed or anything, I guess, uh, or it had lost its seal or whatever. I don't know how these cans are, but uh, they're kind of there. They're those uh, those old cans you got to open up like the old spam cans, you know, with the key. We you twist them open and everything, I was wondering if they, I would imagine that that, that it aged for a good long time, it, uh, probably for quite a few years before it, um, before it, I'm wondering, you know, when it gets dry, does it stop the aging process or what? But uh, I got them sealed now in some ball canning jars, so I'm hoping to put a little more age on them uh, and, you know, I'm not going to smoke them right away. I'm going to. I'll smoke that one little that little jar of mine there, um, a little bit here and there, because uh, honestly, uh, it's almost like it, but not quite. It's it's pretty, probably because it's old, but it's pretty dang close to the um, to the uh, uh, Lean Limited Ready Rub. I mean, they say it's the same formula. Uh, the only reason I think it probably tastes a little different is because it's. Uh, it's it's old. It's been sitting around for a long time. But uh, yeah, I got uh, I got another pound of it in here. I this is the jar that I that I rehydrated my um, Edgeworth in. I just dumped it in there with uh, with some some uh, distilled uh, distilled water on something and uh, and just let it just let it stir it up every now and then, shake it up and just to keep it keep it swirling around in there to get the get the moisture distributed well and it came out nice um, as far as what I've been doing lately I've been getting into my gaming again I know I this isn't a gaming channel but uh, I was wondering if anybody out there would like to see it I'd, I would be uh, happy to show you my uh, my uh, man cave as it were and all my games in that and my pipes and things in here let me know uh, let me know what you think about that um, Anybody that's into video gaming probably knows that they just came out with uh, the remake of Resident Evil 2. So me, like a crazy nut, I went out and bought Resident Evil 2 on the uh, on the old system. Uh, also, I went out, I looked online, and I saw it was it was 
wasn't that expensive, so I bought um, the one I didn't have, which was uh, Resident Evil 2 on the uh, N64. Oh yes, I have an N64 system. Two of them actually. One one for a backup. You got to have a backup when it comes to that old stuff because you never know when something's going to go far down and out on you. So. I've been poking around looking at some other things. Uh, oh, almost forgot. A customer of mine came in the shop. He's a he's a lurker on YouTube. I guess he's a lurker. I don't think he has a channel. But uh, he walked in our shop one day and he saw me uh, smoking a pipe. This, this is when I first met him. He saw that I was smoking a pipe and, um, and and asked me about you know started up a conversation and he was he was talking about how he likes to watch uh, Briar Blues. Mike over Bar Bar Blues and uh, oh yeah I know him I watch him too and, um, and Mike Mike really likes watches so he that's why I brought him up and this guy's a bit of a watch nut too well he was watching my channel one day and he, he heard me mention that I never tried any Frog Morton I'd like to try it but it's just I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars on a hundred gram tin. That's that's ridiculous. That's, that's like that's like ten dollars a gram. Forget it. Something like that. Anyway, so he gifted me this. He came in the shop on Saturday, and he gave me a tin, a small tin of uh, two ounce tin of uh, Frog Morton on the town. So I got some Frog Morton I can check out. Um, I know they made a lot of different ones. I'd also like to try the uh, other one. Frogmorton Cellar is the one I'd like to try. But but that's good too, though. I mean, that his name is Mike. Shout out to Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for the thanks for the Frogmorton. I know I thanked you before, but I'm thanking you again. Nice fellow. Really nice guy. I told him the next time he comes in, and I know he's coming back in because he's got a watch that my uh, my boss is fixing up for him doing some doing some custom work for him and so I told him that um, that I bring him a little something because um, I know there's some blends that he hasn't tried before he, we talk about pipe pipes and tobacco whenever we're not talking about watches so anyway I've been poking around on, I can't keep my pipe lit again, I've been poking around on eBay looking at, um, searching out some, some, some new, uh, things, um, no, no tobacco now, right now, although I do poke around at that every now and then, I've got some saved searches and they, they notify me anytime something comes along, um, uh, all the stuff that's hard to get, of course, so, uh, I got a couple offers on some on some old video games that I want to get too, so I'm hoping to hoping to, uh, they get whenever they throw up, whenever they put that make an offer and I don't just pay for it, even though the price was pretty good even at yeah, where it was it was it was acceptable, but uh, I'll make an offer I'll downgrade it a little bit you know try to save a few bucks so you know I'd be a fool not to well. Anyway, just relaxing here, getting ready to play, uh, getting ready to play a little bit of, uh, We Happy Few. Weird game, really weird game. It's just like a post-World post, post War II game or something, uh, in the 60s, where everybody takes drugs to say happy, and your character decides he doesn't want to take his, uh, his, his, um, probably heard of this game before, anybody out there that plays any games, but... Um, <laughs> he decided he didn't want to take his his uh, his joy anymore, which is what they call a call a pill. And he gets discovered, and somebody realizes, and then he can be, all of a sudden he becomes a downer. So he's he's got to go through all this crazy stuff to get get through the game, or get get through what his tasks and so forth. So it's kind of fun. Been been playing that, and I've been 
trying to play that uh, that new remake of Resident Evil, but I've been I've been keep getting sucked into the old Resident Evil too. But those those tank controls, they the way they made them old games with the controls and the and the camera angles and everything, it's 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 really hard, especially in the beginning. It's like you ain't got you ain't got nothing, and you got surrounded by a bunch of zombies, and you got to run, try and run through them. And the controls are goofy. I found myself one time hitting the controls and trying to use them like a regular, regular PlayStation or an X, regular uh, old newer Xbox, and turning the thumbstick and and uh, and uh, and it, you got to be real deliberate with your turns with that with the old games. You can't do like on the new ones. And I got my character running in circles, literally, just just going around like that. So. <laughs> Next thing I know, she's getting eaten. So, it's fun though. It's just uh, a new challenge for me. So anyway, that's about it for today. Uh, just a little little update on my on my Edgeworth and uh, show that tin of tobacco I got, and um, hopefully uh, I'll come up. Uh, you know. Uh, figure maybe next week uh, I'll finally show you my cellar or something uh, or pipe collection because I don't know what the hell else to talk about right now I'm, I'm a loss of a loss for things things to really say so so I wish you all a good day uh, thanks for watching thanks thanks for all y'all who are subscribing to me and uh, I hope everybody has a great day smoking Uncle Frank signing off bye bye all